Okay, guys, so, um, I'm back from the concert. I, I actually went to bed last night because I was pretty wiped. I was going to make the video last night, but I am so, oh, I'm so tired. Because, you know, rocking takes energy out of you. <laughs> um, so, um, I'm just going to tell you guys about it because I... I didn't bring my iPod, so I didn't film anything. Sorry, I was going to, but mom told me I wasn't allowed to. So, um, she didn't want me to lose it, and I don't blame her. I probably would have, because knowing me. Yeah. So, um, the first opening band, which I didn't tell you guys about, because they're not really a main act, I guess, was Exodus. Um, they were the first opening band. Um, they did about five songs. By the way, I have notes, so I'm kind of... Just reading them off here. If I bore you guys, you guys can just leave. I don't care. Just because, you know, this isn't all crazy like or anything. Um, so they did five ish songs. Um, yeah. Um, it's funny because the lead singer is bald, like bald, bald, nothing's there. And then he has this beard. And he's headbanging, but it's just his beard moving, and it's so funny. Just then you guys, if you're bald, don't headbang. It looks weird. Just letting you know. Not trying to be harsh. Just the truth. Um, so, about halfway through their, their thing, um, they, the lead singer was all like, okay, choose a side, you guys. So, the crowd split up into two. Because I was sitting in a seat. Thank God, because, you know, I'm only like... Five three five four, I don't even know. Um, so the floor people split up in two, and then he was like, "Okay, now this side, kill that side, and that side, kill this side." But wait till I say go, okay? Wait till I say go. So he starts like screaming into the mic and singing and shit, and then all of a sudden the. The, like, part where the mosh pit was just went crazy into each other. And he's like, I didn't say go, bitches. And it was, like, so funny. Everyone was laughing their head off because there was a guy wearing bright red pants. Like, I could see him from where I was sitting. And um, the, lead, the lead singer, before they attacked each other, he was like, okay, everyone on this side, kill the guy with the red pants because he has ugly-ass pants. And it was so funny oh my god everyone was laughing and he was like oh and he had like i don't know if you could see that he was like Ugh. but he had like no muscle he was just fat <laughs> um and then after exodus there was a short break and it was hilarious because during the break they played johnny cash and i was like come here to see slayer and rob zombie and you're playing johnny cash okay this is pretty pathetic but i guess it's to like calm us down is what my friend said don't know probably makes sense um so then rob zombie came on they were the second band um they were definitely my favorite of the concert i would say they were pretty oh i loved him um so rob zombie he came out in like this metal statue like thing and there was, you couldn't see it, but there was, like, these two doors in the chest of the statue. And they slowly opened, and he came, like, kind of, I, I don't want to say crawling, but he kind of creeped out of it, I guess. Like, he was on his two legs, but he was hunched over and, you know, typical creepy walk. Um, he was wearing, like, this huge top hat, long coat, baggy pinstripe pants, and... He had this, like, mechanical arm thing, and it was really cool. Um, he played seven-ish songs, I want to say. I don't, I don't know, something around there. He did, like, most popular songs, like, Living Dead Girl, Sick Bubblegum, um, Mega Beast, and Finished Up by Dragula. You, oh, my God. If you like Rob Zombie, you have to see him live. So, you see, he is amazing. Um... Dragula, the crowd was going insane. Like, seriously, I bet that's probably why I have a scratchy voice because I was up jumping in my seat, screaming the words and screaming, like, John 5, I love you, 
Yeah. I'm a huge Manson fan. Like, I have every single one of his CDs, plus like five you can't buy in stores, plus a poster, plus a shirt, plus a live movie. It, 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 I, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Totally off topic. Gingerfish is in the band, too, now. Um, he, you guys may not know this, but he was the drummer for Marilyn Manson, and John Five was the guitarist for Marilyn Manson for quite a while. Um, Gingerfish looks kind of weird now, because he grew a beard. Just saying. Beards are kind of ugly. But... <laughs> um, so, um, there, there was, like... I call them zombie droids. I don't know what to call them. They were, like... They were like drones, I guess, and they kind of looked like, I don't even know how to describe them. They just kind of, they were like mechanical, zombie-like things that were walking around the stage, and it was really, really cool. Um, so, of course, Ginger Fish is like, new, the like, new zombie, right? So, um, he got this long solo, and, um... After, I think, I can't remember what song it was, but he split it in half, and he went up backstage and got, like, that heavy-duty flashlight, you know, that almost every concert has, and they, like, shine into the crowd, right? Well, he actually went out inside the crowd and was shining it. He walked all the way around the stadium, shining it on people, and, oh, my God, it was crazy. It was so amazing. He, he's pretty entertaining like seriously I would totally go to see him again if he just had a concert by himself with like one opening band I would totally go to see it he's amazing you guys have to see him if you like him because you know he's amazing his music is amazing and then you go and see him live and he like blows your mind seriously um <laughs>